Hello Faux Fam, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new, please hit that subscribe button. It would mean the world to me. It's right there. Click subscribe. Okay, cool. If you don't know me, my name is Sydney Forsyth. Today I'm gonna to be talking about iOS 14. What's the rage? What it's all about? Not really. I'm actually just gonna show you guys how to make your home screen look cool. If you're a regular subscriber, this video is very different from my channel, but honestly, it's like a trend. So I thought I'd just hop on the trend and give it a go. This is how I made my home screen look so good. Today I'm gonna to convince you to update your phone if you haven't, and if you have, here's your tutorial. I'm gonna to try to keep this quick but informative. So here we go. So just for starters, this is what mine looks like. This is my main background, and then we have the blue background, and then we have this one, which I am not done with, which is why it's perfect. I'm gonna show you guys how to do this. So the first thing that you're gonna need is an app called Widget Smith. It's completely free in the App Store. And this is how you're gonna make all of your widgets, which are these like pictures and stuff. Um, so if you press and hold your screen, you'll be able to press a plus sign in the upper corner. And there are some widgets that just come on your phone, but Widgetsmith just makes it more aesthetic, basically. So we're gonna open Widgetsmith. And first you have to decide your theme. So first you need just like a solid backdrop, figure out what colors you wanna do, all that. And I'll show you how to change your app logos. I still have a couple I need to do so that it's not like the ugly Instagram ruining your perfectly black and white aesthetic, right? So in my first screen, my first widget is of a calendar. So you're gonna go into Widgetsmith and that is a medium widget. So the medium widgets are the long ones and then the small widgets are these square ones with the picture on it. And then there's a large widget, but it basically takes up the entire screen. So I don't personally have any. So you go into Widgetsmith and you have three options like I just mentioned. So if you wanna do the one that I did, you're gonna add medium widget here you can click on that and you can change it to basically anything that they have you can make it a calendar what day it is there's clocks tons of different stuff you can change the font right here and then this is where you can kind of mess around with the colors so first you can choose the tint color and then you can choose the background color and there are so many options so you should be able to find one that fits your aesthetic for the page that you're on so after making your widget you're going to press save and then you're gonna go to the screen that you want, which is your couple of apps that you're wanting for your aesthetic. You press and hold on the lock screen, plus sign, and then you're gonna scroll all the way down to your widget app, and then it's gonna have the three different options of widgets. So whichever one that you want to become your background, you're gonna press add widget. Now it's automatically gonna put in the first widget. So to change that, you're gonna tap on it, click on widget, and then you have like all of your widgets and you can name these, but I just don't really care. So like, this is one of my other ones and then it'll change automatically. And if you don't like it, obviously all you have to do is remove it. So that's pretty explanatory for how to do all the widgets, but how do you get like pictures? So go back into our widget app. So to get a picture, so we'll make a small widget. So you're gonna scroll to the bottom and click photo in album. And then you're gonna choose an album. So I made albums that are just like black, blue, pink and yellow, whatever your theme's gonna wanna be. And then you just click on that album and it can even just be one picture in the album or you can do multiple and it'll actually cycle through them. But that is just gonna make your picture the widget. So then you just save it. We do what we talked about where you press and hold, add the widget, Scroll down to Widgetsmith, and then you'll just upload the widget that you wanted. And to find good aesthetic pictures, I literally just went on Pinterest, and then there's like a ton of different options, and you can just save them onto your phone, and then put them in the album, and then do the Widgetsmith. So now for the fun part. You can basically make your own app icon, which will match your aesthetic, which is perfect. So this one is a little more complicated. Now, because iOS 14 has been out for a little bit now, people have made their own icons. So you can kind of just search up any icon that you want. Like you see, I was just looking for a clock one. I also need to do a Spotify one. So literally you can just look up Spotify 
whatever color you want I'm just doing black and white and then they'll just be more like aesthetic ones in there that you can save so you're gonna go through and do this for all of the apps that you want to change and personally what I did is I'm just doing this on the front page and these are gonna be my main apps so I've got like my camera TikTok, YouTube, Instagram, stuff I use all the time. And then in your other folders, and I only have two pages right now, but then you can kind of like connect colors is what a lot of people do. So you can literally just leave like all your blue apps on your blue page, all your yellow apps on your yellow page. Um, there's tons of different options. You can mess around with it, spend hours on it and make it customizable, which is so fun. But anyway, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to shortcuts. And as you can see, I have some shortcuts already. So you're gonna do plus sign, you're gonna add action. Shortcuts should already be on your phone. If it's not, you'll have to re-download it. And then you're just gonna type in open app. And right here under actions, you just click open app. So then you're gonna choose which app this is gonna open. So I just got one for Spotify. And then this is where you can actually change the picture. So you click the dot, dot, dot in the upper right hand corner, name your shortcut, and then you're gonna press add to home screen. And then click on the icon that's lit up here and choose photo. You can select whatever photo you've saved, boom, added to home screen, done. And then it's gonna show up on whatever page. So you're just gonna have to move that over, boom already so much more aesthetic than the original Spotify logo. So to get rid of Spotify, because we don't want to just delete Spotify, here on the bottom in these dot dot dots down here, click on that. As you can see, I have this entire page that's hidden. So move it to a page with all the actual apps and not the shortcut and whatever apps you have that you're trying to hide that are not aesthetic. And then all you have to do is click the dot 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 you click this check mark and it is no longer one of your options. So that's a good way to kind of hide the actual apps and then all you have is your shortcuts. And then when you open one of these apps, it's basically just gonna pull up shortcuts and then take you to Instagram or whatever it is. By the way, follow me on Instagram, Sid Forsyth. So that's pretty much it. Quick tutorial on how to do everything. If you guys have any other questions, comment them down below and I will try to answer. Have some fun. I still have a lot of work to do, but it's been so much fun. Um, whether you love or hate the new update, I think it's pretty cool how aesthetically pleasing we can make our home screens now. So I think it's cool. If you made it to the end of this video, and especially if this video was helpful, please give it a thumbs up, comment down below, hit subscribe. The more interaction this video gets, the more it helps me. So that would mean the world. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one with some regular content. Bye. Bye.